Hey guys, what's going on? It's Slacker here, coming to you with episode 6 of our Kennesaw Kinesa State Rebuild. We are 1 and 2 at this point. We got, we're playing well, but not good enough to win all the time. So I'm not sure if it's just the players, the players aren't good enough, or what it is. But we're going to make some substitution changes. We're actually going to take um, the center out and we're going to put in the big 7-1 center and try because we, we're getting out rebounded. We're getting out rebounded. We're not getting many offensive rebounds like we were in the first game. So we're going to try to go ahead and get more offensive rebounds, get more chances to score points. The Colgate Raiders battle the Kennesaw State Owls. Welcome aboard, everyone, as we'll really be watching the matchup at the force pilot. Shoemate is a top-notch power forward. He's got great touch around the rim. He's a real dangerous post presence. So our starting lineup has changed. Decky is in at center. We're going to see how well he plays. Tip is up. We get the tip. Polk starting it out. Trying to get it down to Whitaker. Whitaker coming off a pretty good game. Shumate drops the ball. An easy transition, easy points starting out for Ryder. Polk with the three, gonna nail it. Polk is hit and miss on the threes. We either get really good production from Polk or he just doesn't show up. So. You never know what you're going to get with Polk. Here's Polk again with the three. Drills this one. He seems to be on fire today. So Polk probably going to have a pretty big day. Decky gives it to Shoemate. It is in and one. Gets the foul. Beautiful big, big pass. Coming in for the three-point play. That's got to hurt the pride a little. Few of the backup bench players are in. Beautiful pick and roll to Fox. Fox not able to get it. Gets it back and in. Fox was our starter before we put Decky in. I think Fox is good. Fox is still going to get a bunch of playing time. Beautiful still by Polk and Jam. Going to get some playing time, but not going to be a starter as I just don't think it fits. It doesn't fit our the way we play very good. We play through our bigs. Archibald there with a beautiful play. We play through our bigs, and Polka going to hit a three, wanting to play through him as well. Told you he's going to have a big day, and he's off to one already. Three threes before the first half is over. We got a pretty sizable lead here, 36-27. Shoemate, beautiful in that half. Shoemate. Eight points. Again, we play through our big. So I think Decky and Shumate play really well together. And I think Fox coming off the, of the bench gives us enough scoring when our subs are in. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're shooting almost 70% right now. Three of four from three point. Polk leading the scoring with 13. He also has two steals. Shumate coming in with eight of his own. Polk, another wide open three. He's on fire. Load him up. He's up to 16 points now. Having a huge day, Polk. Getting out rebounded again. We got we got to figure out the rebounds. I know we can give up a few. Almost stolen. Shoemate going to take this for himself. Up and good for Shoemate. Beautiful layup. Adds to his point total for today. So Shoemate having a really big day. A beautiful steal by Casey. Waiting for his other players to get down the field or get down the court before setting it up. He finds Polk. Polk is on fire. Absolutely crushing it right now. Polk is leading our team and scoring another Polk three. Yes, sir. 22 points right now for Polk. Definitely his best game in a Kennesaw State uniform. Looking to add to it. We got a sizable lead here. Up by eight right now. Beautiful inbound pass right there. Give it up to the passer. Easy score for Ryder. 
Shoemate going to make it all the way to the basket. No one stopping him in transition. He has 14 of his own. Under two minutes left. We got a 10-point lead. The press is in full force. Slowing him down. Going to get a steal here from Casey. He's going to take, whoa, pass to Polk. Beautiful pass by Casey. I tried to go up for it, but Casey was not able to... Casey was not able to make it because he pulled up. Don't know why, but he gets the assist. That's good enough. End up with a 12-point lead. We end up winning by 12 points from Colgate Riders. Huge day by Polk. 6 of 10 from 3, 26 points. Beautiful day. We shot really well, over 50%. Held Colgate to about 44%. On the field goals, the assist, we are out assist. We actually uh, caused eight turnovers. Thought it was actually a little bit more, but not sure how they exactly do that. What I do like seeing is we out rebounded them 24 to 21. I want to get those rebounds. I want to make sure that we're always winning the rebound because if we win the rebounds and the offensive rebounds, we will get points. So Polk with 26. Nine assists by Casey, a huge day for him. Shoemate, 14 of his own with only six re rebounds. Thought it would be more, but he did have three still, so he made up for it in the still category. Off the bench, Fox only had two points, eight rebounds. So when he is in, he is our main guy for that second rotation. We, we put them in kind of in rotation, so Fox usually plays with the second team people. So we get the win against Colgate. We are two and two at this point. Next stop is gonna be FIU. So next game against Florida International. I believe they haven't played a game yet. So they are actually zero and zero on the season. But we begin with a special player who was an easy choice as our player of the week in college basketball. Kanji set the bar pretty high for what kind of performance it's going to take to win the player of the week award. He started the season with a bang. Huge week by that guy, 28 and 14. Before we get to the FIU game, let's see how we are doing in the recruiting categories. Doesn't look like we're gonna get Nadade. Watts looks like we could possibly steal him. We're gonna keep sending things to Watts. We really want him really bad. Yes, he's only six foot seven, but you know, Shume right now is six foot seven. He's absolutely killing it. Our best player by far. So, not really worried about that. We're also going to try to hit up the big guys here. We really want tall guys, but we really want shooters. It's hard to recruit both. So, it is also harder to recruit because we are Kennesaw State. We're not, you know, a powerhouse program that anybody and everybody wants to come to. Also, make sure that we're hitting our juniors. Make sure that we're getting the points in for the juniors. That way, next year, when recruiting them as seniors, we are already higher up on them. So, a lot of juniors we have because we kind of know who we're going to get on our seniors. So, just adding to the juniors, hoping that next year they decide to come to Kennesaw State. So, as I said before, Florida International has not played a game yet zero and zero we are two and two let's see if we can get the win here Whitaker is a top-notch small forward in his own right he's a tremendous threat thanks to the depth shooting touch of his so same starting rotation as last game decky in at center again Fox on the bench coming off the bench as a sixth man get the tip Casey looking to set it up Polk after coming out after a huge game last week 20 what 22 26 points for him last week Shimade trying to get the scoring started does drains both free throws on the foul eight to six is the score right now beautiful pick and roll to Fox this is what he could bring off the bench. Definitely going to run the offense through him. Whitaker knowing he was a player to look for. So he's wanting a big day here as well. Casey, a beautiful pass to Shimad. Beautiful finish. 
Come on, get the rebound. We get a block, he gets it back, he misses a layup, they get it back, foul him, hits both free throws, so not getting anything as far as defensive rebounds, not happy on the sideline with that. We really want to make sure that we are grabbing the rebounds and not getting, wow. Whitaker looking. Shumate going to get the ball. Obviously going to go through him. Not able to make it. Out on the run. Nope. Intercepted. Polk going to pull up three. Drills it. Got the lead. 31-27. FIU taking a timeout. 15 seconds left. Trap is on. Giving no open shooters. Drake going to shoot a three. Not able to make it. Pulled down. Can we get a bat? Basket before half. Whitaker in the pull up three. Not in. 31 27 is your total at halftime. Four point lead for your Owls. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. If we don't see some improvement soon, this could be even further out of reach. They need to make some adjustments. Shumate and Whitaker both half. leading with eight points. I'd love to Here's see that. Polk with a pull-up. Not able to Such get it. Burn. Not sure that why sometimes they pull up. Sometimes they go in Polk. for the jam. The I really wish I knew how to change that or how to fix that. But unfortunately, nothing we can do there. A three made by FIU. They're coming out strong with the threes. 35-33 at this point. Whitaker with the three of himself. Gonna drill that one wide open. Should be making that. Whitaker having a big game right after the beginning. They said that they, he was a player to watch for. Coming out with a huge day so far. Drake answering that with the three of his own. Drake killing it. Beautiful pass up the field. Lay in by Decky. Just under seven minutes, setting up the offense. Pass, pass underneath Shumate. Beautiful, beautiful jam. I'm not sure if it's nice Shumate or Shumate. I call them both. You know, I, I, I don't talk to the guy, so I don't really know what his name is. So we're going to call him both of those because, you know, I can't. So FIU with the layup, bring it to seven. Whitaker not allowing it to happen, bringing it back down to five. Looks like a reach and foul. So reach and foul that far away is not going to help. Shoemate draining it. Still down by seven at this point. We are going to try to put on a press. We're going to try to get some turnovers. We need turnovers. Here's one turnover. Shoemate going to be fouled on the layup. So Shumate going to go to the line. Let's see if he can make both. Big free throws here. Perfect on the first. Hits the second one. Down to a five-point lead. Three minutes left. We got to get points. We got to get turnovers. Shumate guarding the inbound. They're going to break the press. Gonna be tapped, gonna be stolen by Polk. Polk gonna take this all the way in for the jam. Down to three points, starting to turn into a game. Still a three point lead, we do not need a three here. Under two minutes left, we just need a score. Polk giving it down, Shoemate had a beautiful position, not able to get it. Decky gets it, puts it back in. One point game, FIU taking a timeout. Still a one point game, Polk a wide open three. Not able to make it. Not able to get the offensive rebound. Shoemate with the reflection. Shoemate making that play happen. A beautiful pass by Decky. Rivera draining the three there. Oh, no. What couldn't happen? We fouled to try to get them to go to the line. However, they were able to grab the offensive rebound. And that will probably do it. As they're going to go, this is going to be a two-position game if a made free throw. Makes it. 
Misses that one. Down by four. We still stand a chance. Got 30 seconds left. Pull giving to Shoemate. Shoemate wide open. Not able to get it in. Gonna have to intentional foul again. And I think that is gonna do it. Two seconds left. Game is over. The Owls lose by six. They had chances. Just couldn't make it happen. The Owls lose six by six. 60 to 54. So we didn't shoot very well from field goal at all we shot about 40 percent whereas fiu shot about 48 percent for them they didn't shoot they didn't shoot well from free throw and they didn't shoot well from the three-point line however it was enough they definitely got more rebounds and that's what i'm saying they out rebounded us by 10 31 to 21 and that just could not happen they got nine offensive rebounds we only got three it just it can't happen uh, we we got to do a better job underneath before we can even score we got to get rebounds on defense we got to get back on defense Casey having another good day with six assists Whitaker coming out with 15 points of his own Shumay ends up with 18 and two rebounds Fox on the bench four points five rebounds a decent day for him Decky at center had eight points six rebounds we really need him to get more rebounds so next we play after the loss we're gonna play florida a and i believe yes florida a m they are one and two play them in our very next episode so if you guys like this episode make sure you give it a big thumbs up also feel free to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other kennesaw state rebuild episodes if you guys like the way i've been commentating these videos lately please comment that down below as well Till next time slacker out